Gentlemen, Us is reporting that Sergio Ramos will sign a one-year contract extension at Real Madrid. It would keep him there through the 2022 World Cup, at which point he would come to Inter Miami with David Beckham. Who knows? It may be until 2023 that we actually get David Beckham to finally sign a real superstar player. Oh, no, no, oh, don't wow. hurt. Don't, don't, don't wow. say Rodolfo Pizarro is a superstar. Um, Herc, I'll start with you. Ramos would be 37 at that point. Too old for MLS? I mean, about the age Zlatan was when he came over. Zlatan was a 36 turning 37. I know they're different players, and it's very difficult to compare anybody to Zlatan and what he did in Major League Soccer. But in Sergio Ramos, I don't care at 37. You look at him right now, he's a physical specimen. At 37 years old, he would be a great addition. He's a superstar. One can make a case he's the best Spanish player of all time, and I'm going to make that case. That simple. He's already the leading Caps leader, the most appearances in the Spanish national team. Four Champions League, okay? Everything he's done with Real Madrid. The World Cup winner, two-time European Cup winner. I mean, arguably, you can make that case. So if you have a player of that caliber, of that pedigree, I don't care what you think, whoever you think it's maybe Iniesta, the, the only one that could come close to him. Whatever you think, you can make that case. And to have that type of player in a market like Miami, and for David Beckham, who's been promising us, for Jorge Mas, who's been promising us that superstar, here is your superstar. I don't care if he's 37 years old. Mal, breathe. Breathe. You okay? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I had to breathe while, while Herc was still talking. He might be one of the most decorated players, but in no record book will he go down as the best player in the history. I don't history. know if there is a record book for that. Well, there might be one. <laughs> I, and, Make and, one. And, and I certainly hope you don't write it. I certainly hope you don't write that book. So I'm, I apologize Listen to, to my this. words. One uh, can make a case I and apologize to Xavi Hernandez. I apologize to Raul Hernandez. I even apologize to Iker Casillas. Raul. For, 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 what, you had, for what you guys just were forced no to World listen. Cup. Now, no World Cup. Now, going back to the topic, um, I'm 37 years old and Sergio Ramos looks 10 years younger than me. So that's not an issue. This he's, is true. <laughs> he's in great shape. He's in great form. That's because you look 47, man. <laughs> now, here's my question, though. Is, the M is MLS finally going to sign a good defender? Is Sergio Ramos going to be uh, the first great defender to come to Major League Soccer? Because if that's the case, then I'm all for it. Because, you know, MLS has this stigma that well, they don't want to sign great goalkeepers. Well, they don't want to bring world-class defenders because we want goals. We want action. And a good defender is actually going to prevent us from seeing that. It would be a great addition. The, the only part that I, that I agree with Herc is that he would be a great addition because of the market. Miami, Real Madrid, everything that smells and looks like Real Madrid is going to be a massive head in that area of the country. Now, um, if you are... David Beckham, and if you are Jorge Man, if you are Diego Alonso, is that what you need to win? Is that what's going to make the difference, making the playoffs and making an actual run for the title? I don't think so. Not Sergio Ramos. Wait, we just said how bad defending is across all of Major League Soccer, evidenced by the fact that Bobby Boswell in his 30s was a best 11 defender. 2014, six Ouch. years ago, six years ago. That's the state. Of, that is the state. Defending, defending is so bad in Major League Soccer that this guy, Hercules Gomez, made a successful career. Oh, that happened to be in Mexico as well. <laughs> yeah, you probably scored more goals down there than you did in MLS. Now, now, hold on, hold on. You guys are talking about Sergio Ramos. Like, he doesn't provide more than just defending. I mean, the guy's got, like, 80-plus goals to his name. I mean, we're talking about very so did, accomplished players. So player. you want Sergio Ramos to become, to become your top uh, goal no, nobody, scorer nobody for Inter saying, Miami? Nobody is saying this. All I am telling you, and I've seen this model work plenty of times, not just only in MLS, but Liga Mekis and other places, experienced center back, young center back, the protection. I've seen this model work plenty of times, and if Sergio Ramos can be your experienced player on any team in Major League Soccer, you're doing something right. Yes, but you, do, but do you want to bring – a player that is going to provide experience 
by signing him as a designated but player on paying, him, won't be a problem. paying him over $7 million. Sergio Ramos is making 12 oh, million oh, euros oh, this season at Real Madrid. You have to understand that at 36, 37 years old, not even Slatan came in and made that money. Okay. I did in the second well, year. Well, he second he year he did. Because he proved he second it. Year because he, he scored how many goals his first year? Because in Sergio Ramos not coming for 1.25. Exactly. I'm not saying exactly. he is. But if you get him for 3 million, you don't think that's a bargain? He's not going to come for 3 mil. He's not going to go for the players, 5 million. These players see Major League Soccer differently. Her, they don't see it as a chance her, to come make Sergio money. Ramos is going to ask for the list of the highest paid players in the league. And, he and he's going to go, who's this guy, Carlos Vela? Or we aren't, I think we I aren't deserve to make agent. more than him. We aren't his agent or his accountants or can presume to know his finances. I'm sure. I'm sure on this that he's made more than enough where he could say, this is the way I want to end my it's, career. It's never enough. It's never enough for those guys. Never. It's enough if, for this. if he's going to leave Real Madrid for that, it's, it's not to make $2.5 million, trust me. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. 37 years old, how much money would you be willing to pay for a center back in Major League Soccer at that age? A discussion for 2023, apparently, when David Beckham will have that problem. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.